Pringles and Cake Pops have been around for a while. And I actually kind of like it. But I'm a cookie girl. So that means I have to mix it up so that I can really enjoy it. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Coming up. I'm going to keep mixing until my chocolate is melted and smooth. Now that my chocolate is melted, I'm going to place it on one of my safe racks. Now with my cake sickle molds, or in this case, cookie sickles, I'm ready to go ahead and fill them with my melted chocolate. Taking a spoonful, I'm going to go ahead and fill my cavity up with the melted chocolate. After I made sure that all of the chocolate is around all of my mold, I'm ready to insert my popsicle stick. Taking my bench scraper, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the top of my cake sickle, in this cake, cookie sickle mold. And now I'm going to pop this in the freezer for 10 minutes. Now that my time has passed, I'm going to go ahead and wiggle my sticks to the end of the mold, but not all the way out. Taking my brush, I'm going to go ahead and load it up with some chocolate and put a second coat of chocolate into my molds. Making sure I really get the sides. Now I'm going to place it back in the freezer for another 10 minutes. Now that my molds are out of the freezer, I'm ready to add the cookie dough. Using an ice cream scoop, I'm going to scoop in my cookie dough into each one of my molds. Next, I'm going to go ahead and push in my cookie dough into each one of my molds. I'm not going to fill it all the way up because I want to be able to pour
pour in my chocolate and get a nice smooth finish. As I'm pushing down my cookie dough, I want to slowly pull out my popsicle just a little bit. Once my cookie dough is all smooth into my mold, I'm going to go ahead and push in my popsicle stick further. repeat that for the rest of my cookie sickles. Now I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for another 10 minutes. Now that my cookie sickles are out of the freezer, I'm going to go ahead and add chocolate to the top. Using my spoon, I'm going to go ahead and spoon in some chocolate to go on top. Using my bench scraper, I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the back of my chocolate. Now I'm going to place it in the refrigerator for 10 more minutes. Now it's time to unmold our cookie sickles. And we're going to do this very slowly. Mm. I'll see you in the next one and subscribe for more. Mm.